while a to-do app is not necessarily the perfect mechanism to compare front-end frameworks, it certainly is a start. To-do apps have CRUD functionality, and we interact with JSON data. To avoid introducing cloud service latency, the data in this test will be static data local to each app. As of the time of this recording, Svelte 3.37.0 and View 3.0.11 are the latest versions available to the general public. Svelte uses Roap as its bundler and bill chain. Roll-up and Svelte were originally created by Richard Franklin. Now, you can use Webpack with Svelte, but I think that Svelte is optimized to be used with Roll-up. Vue, on the other hand, integrates Webpack into its command line interface. In terms of framework and project architecture, I think Vue and Svelte are very similar. Both have the concept of components. And if you look at the parent component of both framework, they're very similar in terms of how it's organized. Svelte actually uses less code. In some cases, not significantly less code, but definitely less code. To keep things as fair as possible, both apps are getting the exact same amount of CSS and the exact same amount of static data. On the Svelte side, I've compiled the code. Of course, Svelte is a compiler. It exists as a compiler. And the fact that it is a front-end framework is secondary to the fact that it is a compiler. And I'm serving uh, the static file from the public folder, just like in production. On the view side, I went ahead and built the application. And I'm serving the app from the distribution folder or the disk folder. So I have both apps running in Chrome in incognito mode. As you can see, both apps have the same CSS stylings. I'm in the network tab. I'm going to, I'm going to do a hard refresh. So since Svelte is a compiler, the JavaScript side, the JavaScript bundle size is very small. If you look at the files that are being served up in the browser, the logo, the logo, the ping file is actually the biggest file. Look at how small both of these CSS files are. There's global.css is the unscope global styles and the bundle CSS are the scope uh, scope CSS scope to the component. Uh, there is a hack to combine these two together if you want to go that route. Check out uh, a Reddit post. Um, as you can see, it's very small, okay, because Again, Svelte is, exists as a compiler. On the view side, is uh, obviously it's a little bit bigger than um, 
svelte, but it's still relatively small compared to, say, Angular or to uh, React. Let's look at uh, Lighthouse performance next. For Lighthouse, I went ahead and checked all of the options, and I went with the desktop. Performance was very similar. Very similar. Let's see here. First contentful paint. Let me zoom in to hopefully you can see that. So there are the there are the critical numbers. Let me try to get this up higher if I can. Oh, that's I think that's all you get. Let me scroll down slowly so you guys can look at the numbers. Okay. Spelt edge out views just slightly. Okay, so there you have it. I will say though that uh, Svelte is a lot of fun to code in. I don't know if it's because it's so new. Uh, it does require a lot, a lot less code. It's a, a new-ish concept. I actually don't use Svelte at work all the time. Uh, I work for a giant global conglomerate and we use mostly Angular, the latest version of Angular. Uh, it's serving us really well. Our velocity is pretty good in Angular. You have some legacy React Redux app. Uh, we do have a couple of internal, very small internal use spelled app. And the people, the software engineer who work on those apps, uh, they're reporting having a lot of fun. And heaven forbid, if, if <laughs> we should have fun at work. But anyhow, so I hope you guys enjoy this. This is by no means the, uh, you know, the ultimate comparison, but it's uh, this is the start. Um, by the way, there, if you want to compare various to do apps, to do apps that are more sophisticated than what I have here, but still using local data, uh, the Mozilla Developer Network has to-do apps in React, Ember, Vue, and Svelte. And you can work on all, uh, all four framework to compare with that. Also, there is something called Vite. I know you're tempted to pronounce that Vite, but it's French, so pronounce it Vite. Uh, this will work with Vue along with React, and it'll make it very fast. Uh, I play around with this locally, and it's, the, the speed is pretty impressive. Okay. If you like this type of video, please consider subscribing. If you are already a subscriber, thank you for subscribing to my channel.